In this video, we're putting a spotlight on the Tehachapi Pass HO Scale Model Railroad, which is created, maintained, and operated by the La Mesa Model Railroad Club and its members. This exhibit is smack dab in the middle of the museum, being visible from nearly all sides and stretching up to a mezzanine level. The Tehachapi Pass is in HO scale, so one inch of the model is equal to 87 real life inches. It depicts a real railroad in a real place, the railroad through the Tehachapi Pass between Bakersfield, California and Mojave, California. The La Mesa Model Railroad Club was founded in 1962 by a group of ambitious and enthusiastic teens with no nearby model railroad club that would accept anyone under 18. They incorporated with help from parents and mentors and secured a space on the second floor of Nebo Hall in La Mesa. And so we were all pretty young and in fact in the very beginning there was a lot of goofing around and wasted time and we, there was a bunch of scrap in the, the uh, room that we got and so we were having wars with throwing scrap pieces of uh, Solitex back and forth at each other. But that settled down and then we became really um, much more interested in real railroading and got to know real railroading around Southern California and that governed what we decided to do next, which was build a railroad that was more like a real one. By April 1965, their first full model railroad, the Northern and Gulf Railway Company, was fully operational. The club kept expanding and modifying it, gaining enough prestige that the mayor of La Mesa participated in a Golden Spike completion ceremony in March 1967. Sadly, in 1978, the La Mesa Model Railroad Club lost their space in Nebo Hall because the city wanted to demolish the building for redevelopment. You know, we were sorry to see our efforts go and hope for the best in the, the future. The City of San Diego's Parks and Recreation Department pointed them towards the San Diego Model Railroad Club, which had also recently lost its space. In 1980, the two decided to incorporate as an umbrella organization that would oversee both clubs, the San Diego Model Railroad Museum. The La Mesa Model Railroad Club moved a safe section of its previous model railroad into the museum, adding a hidden loop so a train could run continuously. And this was the exhibit the club displayed upon the museum's first public opening in December of 1981. The Tehachapi Pass exhibit that you see today is the nation's largest accurate representation of an entire railroad subdivision. As the largest model railroad in the museum, with an immense amount of scenery and landscaping, it shows that the La Mesa Model Railroad Club remains ambitious in its goals. Through 8,000 square feet of twists and turns, trains on the exhibit follow 30 scale miles of track through the Tehachapi Pass in Kern County, California, from the city of Bakersfield to the town of Mojave, as it was operated in the early to mid-1950s. Construction began in 1870 and was completed in 1876, and by the 1950s the route was used by two railroad companies, the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway, and the Southern Pacific Railroad. This was the first railroad connection from the San Francisco Bay Area to Southern California, so the later growth of Southern California was made entirely possible by this railroad. Trains traveling the route often carried citrus, sugar beets, livestock, oil, Oregon lumber, car parts and completed cars, and passengers. In a typical operating day in the 1950s, the railroad was dotted with personnel that would direct trains in an intricate dance to prevent derailments or confusion. You, you essentially, you know, had to have someone paying attention at like so many spots along the railroad and they would all be paying attention and writing orders for different trains and everyone had to look at the timetable to make sure you know they're not running on other trains. When I first learned about it it was seemed super daunting and confusing but then when you get to know it it's like amazing that they using this you know what we now consider primitive technology getting it all to work. Today, traffic on the real railroad is controlled by dispatchers using computers, but on certain special days the La Mesa Model Railroad Club operates the exhibit using 1950s communication methods. It is probably the busiest single track railroad in the United States today, with about 40 trains traversing it daily. 
The most famous part of the model railroad and the real life railroad is the Tehachapi Loop. The loop is a three quarter mile long spiral through Tehachapi Pass. It gains 77 feet or 23 meters in elevation as the track climbs at a steady grade, which is safer and easier on the train's machinery than going up a steep slope. Any train longer than 4,000 feet or 1,200 meters actually passes over itself while going around the loop. One of the great engineering feats of its day, the loop was built by the Southern Pacific Railroad beginning in 1874 and opened in 1876. There are elements of uh, engineering as well as California state history that make the location remarkable. There are many other notable areas of the exhibit, including the small town of Caliente, the bottom of the climb up the mountains. What I find particularly interesting about it is you can still, in the real world, go visit Caliente and many of the structures are still there. The city of Bakersfield is also depicted in the exhibit, including a replica of its historical train station. The Bakersfield Depot model, uh, Ted Haas, again one of our longtime members, did an incredible job on that, you know, down to the detail of the little window air conditioners and people on the platform and things like that. If you're interested in joining the La Mesa Model Railroad Club, ask an operator on your next visit to the museum or call the club at 619-233-8269 during museum operating hours. Special thanks to club members Vic Yoder and Spencer Dutton for providing the train footage used in this video. Next time you visit the San Diego Model Railroad Museum, spend some time on the Tehachapi Pass, including the loop on the mezzanine. The wide variety of trains run by La Mesa Club members ensure that you'll always see something different every visit.